627 says an experiment is being planned to compare the effects of several diets on the weight gain of beef cattle measured over a 140 day test period. In order to have enough precision to compare the diets, it's desired that the standard error should not exceed 5 kilograms. So the standard error should not be over 5 kilograms. Okay, and so it says if the population standard deviation is guessed to be about 20 kilograms, how many cattle should be put on the diet in order to achieve a sufficiently small standard error? Okay, so the standard error, the desired standard error, um, is going to be our guessed, whoops, guess standard deviation divided by the square root of n. Okay, so what we want is 5 kilograms, and we're guessing our standard deviation to be about 20 kilograms divided by and so our standard error is going to be 20 divided by the square root of n okay and so solving for this okay we get um, 5 multiply both sides by the square root of n we get 5 square root of n is equal to 20 we get the square root of n divide both sides by 5 we get 20 divided by 5 is 4 we square both sides and we get n is equal to 16. So as long as we have 16 or more and our standard deviation is about 20, then um, 20 or less, then our standard error will be um, five, 5 kilograms or smaller. Okay, so that's part A. So it says part B it says if the guess of the standard deviation is 40, does the required number of cattle double? Okay, so if um, if we bring this up, so let me just write desired SE is equal to the guessed standard deviation divided by the square root of n. Okay, so we still want five, but if we bring this up to forty, um, does the required number of cattle double? Well, let's see what happens. Okay, so does it go double to n equal to 32? So let me multiply both sides by the square root of n. We get 5 times the square root of n is equal to 40. Divide both sides by 5. We get the square root of n is equal to 8. And square both sides, and we get n is equal to 64. So here um, it does not double, but it actually quadruples. So B, the answer is no, it quadruples. It quadruples. So if you double the size of the standard deviation, you need to have four times as many sheep, um, uh, not sheep, uh, cattle in your sample in order to compensate for that difference.